The Intelligence and Electronic Warfare Test Directorate, located at Fort Huachuca, Arizona, executes independent operational testing of intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, electronic warfare, biometric, and intelligence analysis systems to inform acquisition and fielding decisions for Army and select multi-service warfighting systems. A subordinate of the U.S. Army Operational Test Command, IEWTD, is uniquely positioned and capable of testing current and future solutions to emerging threats faced by the modern-day warfighter. U.S. Army forces lack the ability to obtain and use assured positioning, navigation, and timing, or APNT, from GPS signals to conduct PNT-dependent tasks while operating in conditions that impede or deny access to GPS signals. These include dense vegetation, built-up urban and mountainous terrain, subterranean and underwater operations, and the presence of electromagnetic interference or enemy jamming and spoofing of the GPS. To combat this capability gap, the Dismounted Assured Positioning, Navigation, and Timing System, or DAPS Gen 1 and Gen 1.2, were developed. The DAPS is meant to deliver a small, lightweight solution that provides critical timing and position information to the dismounted soldier when in a GPS-degraded operational environment. IEWTD performed an operational assessment of both Gen 1 and Gen 1.2 DAPS systems in August of 2021. The purpose of this OA was to provide data to support the U.S. Army Evaluation Center's evaluation of both systems. IEWTD would find out these systems' effectiveness, survivability, and suitability. Welcoming soldiers from the 101st Airborne Division, IEWTD's first step was to perform a rehearsal of concept drill to walk all test players and stakeholders through what the test would look like for everyone involved. IEWTD's next goal was to facilitate new equipment training where PNT contractors would show typical soldiers how to use the DAP system and how to integrate it with their Net Warrior system. This included a practical exercise using the DAP system in the parking lot outside of the training classroom. Next, IEWTD facilitated a walkthrough and test site orientation at Sunnyside Ridge. With all the training complete, IEWTD conducted the initial pilot test. This preliminary assessment is aimed to ensure every moving part of the test works and can collect all the data needed for the OA. With a successful pilot test and the operational test readiness review complete, record test was initiated. The record test was scenario driven and designed to simulate operational tactical patrolling at night. The soldiers were asked to conduct PNT dependent individual tasks while using the DAP system in both benign and EW environments. Over several days, IEWTD provided fragmentary orders, or FRAGOs, to the test players, tasking them to collect reconnaissance, surveillance, and target acquisition information during an area reconnaissance mission, during which they were required to execute indirect fire and request a medical evacuation. Each mission had different routes and difficulties to overcome. During the test, up to 80 hours of total operating time was planned for each system under test. During and after completion of the record test, test data was captured and authenticated by IEWTD Operational Research Systems Analysts and members of the Data Authentication Group, or DAG. Once all data had been collected and authenticated by members of the DAG, the test units were given surveys and questionnaires, then debriefed before heading back to their home stations. All data is then transferred to the Army Evaluation Center, or AEC. As the U.S. Army's premier independent electronic warfare operational test agency, IEWTD is poised to test emerging technology to combat threats for today's modern soldier. Truth in Testing, 